Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a Chief Analyst in Alparo Research and Analysis and this is Daily Analytical Report. Let's start with the technical analysis, we will not talk about fundamentals today. Uh, nothing major happened really and we have nice technical movements, so no reason to focus on fundamentals if the technical analysis works recently. So what is happening on Euro Dollar? Uh, the price uh, was in a downtrend here we made uh, a breakout of the long-term lows we made new long-term lows but the price reversed that reversal was expected but we are expecting well most of the traders were expecting because that's uh, that what the technical analysis is uh, is promoting that's one of the price action principles that the broken support need to be needs to be tested as a resistance the price went here, did not manage to uh, bounce and went uh, higher and this uh, creates a chance for a further upswing. Here you can see the reaction after, uh, after FOMC, after Fed, but nothing major. The price is more or less in the same pr uh, place uh, as it was before. So this is the movement without the history. And uh, the current sentiment on the euro dollar is positive and will remain positive as long as we stay above the yellow area. Now American dollar to Australian dollar here we do have an excellent selling opportunity. So what happened here is the head and shoulder pattern, breakout of the neckline, breakout of the lower line of the channel up formation and then a drop. What is happening um, here is also we are having inverse and shoulder pattern, breakout of the neckline and upswing. That was just a correction though, correction which aimed for the horizontal resistance and 38.2 uh, Fibonacci. After this we bounced from 38.2, we broke the um, lower line of the wedge and the price went lower. Here is the movement after FOMC yesterday and uh, here, in this case, this is a strong sell signal. This uh, strong sell signal here was uh, was created here on Tuesday. Uh, here we just have a confirmation of this. So this is very nice uh, trading setup. Now gold. I thought that gold uh, has a chance for an upswing because of this inverse head and shoulder, uh, because of this double bottom formation here and actually that was a false breakout below the horizontal support but the price did not manage to go higher uh, this is a bit uh, hawkish fed uh, so uh, fmc fed promoting stronger dollar is not helping here because we all know that stronger dollar is negative for the price of the uh, commodities um, we are back below this, uh, those resistances, uh, so the black line and the blue line, uh, but we are still in the wedge formation, so as long as we are in the wedge formation it will be hard to go short or long, and the proper sell signal will be created when the price will break the red line, and the proper buy signal will be created when the price will break the upper red line. Uh, somehow I think that the second scenario is, uh, is still on the table. Uh, now DAX, uh, uh, I'm sorry, now dollar index. So dollar index is suffering after the false breakout of the horizontal resistance here. After this false breakout the price should continue to decline. But you can see that uh, buyers are holding uh, price uh, pretty high. Obviously with the help after FOMC, after Fed. Uh, and uh, But in my opinion we still should be in a correction mode as long as we stay below the uh, purple line. I think that the sell signal is still on the table. So price being below the purple line is still an invitation to go short. American dollar to Swiss franc here I do have a long position. Uh, I opened this long position after this hammer on a daily chart. This is a beautiful setup. So what is happening here is the price most recently broke the uh, horizontal resistance and a dynamic resistance. And I was waiting for this correction to happen and it did happen yesterday. And that was a beautiful correction. It stopped exactly on those two supports. So broken resistance were tested as a support and now 
uh, I'm looking forward for uh, for a further upswing stop losses below um, the lows from yesterday below the lows from 19th of April and as long as we stay above the green line the sentiment is positive now American dollar to um, now cable so British pound to the American dollar uh, here we also have a positive uh, sentiment so what happened is the price created invest in shoulder pattern left shoulder head and right shoulder we broke the horizontal resistance we broke the dynamic resistance and we came back above those two price being above those two is a legitimate signal to go long now new zealand dollar to canadian dollar uh, this is a, um, a good one uh, so we had a bounce from the blue line blue line is super important horizontal support the overall sentiment is bearish after this false breakout above the dynamic resistance and a horizontal resistance and a bearish engulfing on a weekly chart so the price tried to bounce uh, from this level stopped on a horizontal resistance and the price is on uh, this level again in my opinion we should see the breakout of this line and a drop crude crude is going down stronger dollar is not helping here uh, we came back uh, below the horizontal support and a dynamic support here the upper line of the channel up formation we are still in the channel up formation which is positive right so there is no sell signal as long as we stay above this blue line price breaking this blue line will be an invitation to go short and uh, now you wrote the Russian rubble instrument that I mentioned on the trading sniper video where I was um, positive. I was positive, uh, I was optimistic because the price uh, bounced from the horizontal support. Here the price broke the, hor the dynamic resistance and the horizontal resistance. So bouncing from a support and breakout of two resistances is definitely a negative sign. It's definitely a positive sign, it's negative for the rubble. So there is a buy signal and the next target for this movement is the yellow resistance. The yellow resistance was with us since May 2018. As you can see it was respected as a resistance then a support and now it should be tested as a resistance again. Next uh, pair with the Russian rubble is American dollar to Russian rubble here. We also do have a positive sentiment. We do have a positive situation so there is this double top formation maybe not the prettiest one because uh, normally the second top should be higher than the first one but still uh, double top and then there is this wedge which ends with the double bottom formation the price breaks the upper line of the wedge which triggers us a buy signal then we test this line as a support which confirms us a buy signal then we break 38.2 which gives us another confirmation price closing above the orange area and the orange area is important because it was a re resistance here and support support here price closing a day above that orange area will be a strong signal to go long now DAX uh, which finally after this uh, rectangle broke the upper line of the rectangle and goes higher setting new long-term highs so everything is okay everything is awesome on the stocks american dollar to japanese yen here the price is suffering after this uh, false breakout but as you can see it's still respecting the long-term uptrend line what i would like to show you is a bit uh, closer uh, because it is mm, let's draw it like this Because this is a flag here and here so in theory the flag can result with a further upswing but the buy signal will be created only when the price will break the blue line and the combination of those red lines here New Zealand dollar to American dollar here I mentioned that we should see a further decline but I thought that price 
may test the 38.2 first but they didn't they started the reversal faster and this reversal is in line with the major dominant sentiment on this instrument so sell Australian dollar to Swiss franc here the price is aiming lower and as long as we stay below the red line we should see the continuation of the slide we should see the continuation of this movement and now bitcoin bitcoin is pushing higher i look forward for the price testing six thousand dollars for one bitcoin for me this is the ultimate target for this instrument i think we can adjust this line to the recent price movements yes uh, this way it will be better so guys that was a quick one that was a fast daily analytical report but uh, too much setups is but uh, you shouldn't go for the quantity you should go for the quality so if you have nice trading occasions here there is no reason to get more and more and more and more because there is a limited capacity of uh, on the forex market in terms of the uh, trading setups as you can see i told you that australian dollar to american dollar should go lower and we are aiming for the new daily lows right now a uh, huge drop so i think that out of those instruments this australian dollar to american dollar has one of the best uh, setups right now on the market so thanks very much for watching the daily analytical report i hope you enjoyed this and all the best and good luck in your trading